All right, so in this video, we are going to cover installing PHP 7. So here I have an Ubuntu server, it's 14.04 as usual. This is completely empty, there's nothing installed on it yet. So what we're gonna do is just kick off a few things and get right to installing PHP 7. Now the first thing I wanna do is add this repository, the Andre PHP 7.0 repository. The other thing to say here is that PHP 7 is always referenced in Ubuntu as PHP 7.0, so in the future, you know we'll have 7.1, 7.5, all that stuff. 7.0 is how we're going to reference PHP 7 when we're importing packages here. So what I did is to add the repository, so we just need to do sudo apt-get update next. And what I'll do now is actually I'll do apt-cache, and I'm going to search, and I do the dash n flag, so that only searches the name of the package. And I'm going to search for everything that has PHP 7.0 in the name. And we can see that's quite a lot. So if we scroll up, here we'll see we have common CGI, CLI, FPM, curl, all the good stuff we usually have. Notice, like I said, everything is 7.0. It's not just PHP 7 like PHP 5 used to be. So next I'm just going to install a bunch of stuff. I'm going to get tmux curl, wget. These are just some basic tools I usually get. I'll install nginx as well. And then I'll get PHP FPM, CLI, all the stuff we usually do when we install PHP. Notice, of course, there's PHP 7 version here. PHP 7 is available because we got that repository, the Andre PHP 7 PPA, which has PHP 7 built for us. All right, PHP 7 is there now. So if we do PHP dash dash version, we can see that I have 700. We have this warning here. This is really fine. mcrypt is getting loaded twice, I think, but everything else is working just fine. So I installed Nginx as well. So we can see it's running sudo service Nginx status and it's running great. So let's actually check out how to integrate that with PHP. First thing we're gonna do is head into the PHP directory. Notice it's not named PHP 5 anymore, nor is it named PHP 7. Instead, instead of Etsy PHP, we have 7.0. And then we also have mods available, which is the same as it used to be. That's where all our module definitions are set in the INI files. So if we check one of those out, let's see mods available, let's just check out curl. We can see that the extension curl SO is just loaded. That's great. If we get into the 7.0 directory, things will start looking a little more familiar. We can see we have CLI, FPM, mods available once again. This mods available directory exists, but is empty, so you don't necessarily need to use that. But anyway, if we head into FPM, we'll see the bunch of more usual stuff, conf D for loaded modules that are symlinked. This is just the same as PHP has been on Ubuntu servers. Let's go into pool D, and I'm gonna edit www.conf and go to the listen directory because you might be used to Nginx just working out of the box with PHP. Here we see we have a listen thing to a Unix socket, a file-based socket to communicate with PHP FPM, and it has a name specific to PHP 7. So let's actually just copy that because we'll need to put that into Nginx. So let's head to Etsy Nginx. We see we want to go to sites available. There's going to be a default file in here. So let's just edit that. And here we're gonna enable PHP using the default stuff that's loaded down here. All right, so I just loaded the stuff we need. Here we're gonna keep the Unix socket used, except we need to change this. Notice that this still had the PHP 5 default file path there. We're gonna change this to the PHP 7 path. And then the last thing we'll do is uncomment this to include fast CGI params. And in here we just have an index file I'm gonna make index, I'm sorry, info.php, and we'll see our PHP dump there. Save and click that. Pseudo service nginx config test. It is OK, so let's just reload that. Now if we go over to our browser, we'll put in the IP address of the site. We get the nginx default page. Let's try that info.php page, and we see that we get it. And we have all the usual stuff for PHP 7, like MySQL, GD, mcrypt, and bstring, all that good stuff. This is pretty much a working PHP server now. One thing you might notice in PHP 7 is that memcache is missing. That extension is not yet, as of this video, up to date and ready to get deployed with PHP 7. So if you really need that, we can actually build that ourselves, And it's not too hard. We'll just have to install a few new things. So we're going to install PHP 7 dev to get PHP development tools, like the PHP eyes command. We're going to get git, package config, build essential, and lib memcache dev, because we need the C dev libraries for memcached to build the PHP memcache module. All right, so now let's go into our directory and we're gonna git clone into PHP memcache, the GitHub repository for PHP memcache. We'll CD into that and we'll run a few commands here. First, we actually need to check out the PHP 7 branch because remember, 
this is a separate branch. It's not the mainline PHP memcache package yet because it's not technically in production yet. There might be a few bugs still, but it'll work for most cases. So we've gotten into that directory. We've checked out the PHP 7 branch and we can start up. So let's do PHPI, so let's just get some stuff ready for PHP packaging, and then we can do configure, and I'm actually gonna add the disable memcached sassel flag here, which just tells memcached not to get ready to build with the sassel authentication module. That's optionally available. That's just for authenticating into memcached. I don't typically use that. So now we can do make, and then once make is finished, I'm gonna do sudo make install, and this will build memcached, and once it's built it, it will run the install method. Now, build complete, that was really quick, awesome. We can see, don't forget to run make test, you can do that if you want. And we can see that user lib PHP 2015.10.12 is the latest build directory that will have the memcached item in it. Let's see that user lib PHP, it'll only be the next directory because I don't have multiple PHP versions installed here. This is a date for the PHP build. And we can see we have some new stuff, including memcached. Great. So now we need to set that up a little bit. So let's go back into the Etsy PHP directory. We have mods available. If we go into that, we need to make an item for memcached in here. So sudo vim memcached.ini. And I'm going to copy and paste a little bit. This is not the MySQL module, obviously. This is memcached. Priority 20 by default, memcached.so. This will just point to memcached.so. So now we actually need to do some sing linking. Now, I used to do PHP 5 and mod to do this. This doesn't actually exist. PHP and mod does exist, so let's try that out first. I'm not sure it'll work. We're gonna do dash S. I'm gonna say all sappies, and I want the memcached module to get done. Let's see, I'm gonna see what exit code we got from that command. It was zero, but last time I tested this, didn't act, that didn't actually work. So let's go to CD, um, oops, we'll CD out. We'll go to, into the 7.0 directory, into FPM, into conf D, and I don't see memcache there. I think I'll see the same thing for CLI conf D as well. True, okay, so let's do this manually because it's just symlinks. So the sudo ln-s for symlink, the source is gonna be the mods available memcache ini file we just created, the destination is for fpm, conf d 20 memcached ini, the 20 is there because the priority is 20, it just loads the modules in the order of that preceding number. And then here we're gonna do the same thing for cli, so we're effectively loading memcached into every possible context that we're gonna run php here. So let's see, if I do php info, I'm gonna grep from memcached we should see that there now we do perfect now i'll do sudo service php fpm restart and we should see that in our php info now all right we do perfect so now we have memcache loaded there notice sasso support is no because i chose not to install that all right so we now have a server fully ready to rock with nginx php fpm php and all the usual modules we use and we manually built memcache so that we can start using memcache now. You don't really have to wait for that to be an easy package if you don't want to.